I can click on these posts to edit them or hit edit here. And to add a new post, I can click add new right here or right here. So I'm going to click add new. So when you add a new post, you just need a title. We'll make it about me. And then you can put in your content right here. And up here, you can format the text you have down here, just like as if you were using Microsoft Word or something. And then this uh, toolbar toggle gives you a couple more options. So let's make some formatting changes. So I'm going to change this into a header. Let's try heading one. And so if I want to see how this actually looks on my website, I can just hit preview right here. So I'm going to hit preview. And that's what I'm, look, I'm working with thus far. This looks humongous, so let's change that. So I'm going to change this from an H1 to maybe an H5. Okay, that's a lot smaller. Let's see how that looks. And yeah, that looks a lot better. I can also put media, so I can put in a picture. Let's do that. Let's put this picture in here. And I can edit this picture after I put it in there. So either change the size, add a caption, and I can change where it's aligned. So right now it has no alignment. And with no alignment, as you can see, the words, instead of going right here to the right of the picture, they are just stuck at the bottom, right below the picture. But if I align left for the picture, then you see the words come up and they just hug to the to the right of the picture like a magazine. And uh, you know, actually I want them to be at the bottom, so I'll put align center. And let's preview this, let's see how this looks. And okay, so I've got some text, done some formatting, added a picture, starting to look how I want it to. As you're writing it, you can save drafts so that, you know, in case something happens, your computer shuts off or something. So I'll save draft. And so now it's not published. So it's not on my actual site. So let's visit our site. And it's the about me. And there's no about me post. But if I go to all my posts, you can see there's the old post, hello world. So we have old post, hello world. And this one isn't published, it's just a draft. So I can go in here and continue editing it, but it won't be live. So I can just keep saving it through the save draft. And then when you're ready to, then you hit publish. So I think, yeah, this is ready actually. I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And I mean, you don't have to publish it right at the second. You can schedule it to publish so that when once you're done, you can have it, you know, in April hit schedule and then in April at this time and whatnot, it'll uh, post at that time or you can just post right away. You don't have to do it publicly right away either. You could do it privately and then change it to public later on. But let's go ahead and hit publish for now and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I hit publish and as you can see, uh, now this says update. And then on my actual site, let's hit refresh. Now it's published. So now it's showing uh, this about me post. If you look at our feed where all our posts are, you can see that it's showing an, in, an entire post. It's not showing just an excerpt. So some themes will show just this portion and then maybe right here would have a read more button. But this theme, it shows the entire post, not just an excerpt but you can make it so it only shows an excerpt so it only shows a portion and then they'd have to hit read more to read the rest of the post so to do that we'll go into a post this new post one's pretty long and let's say you know we don't want it to show the entire post on this feed we just want to show a bunch of expert excerpts so they can easily find the post they want they don't have to scroll through an entire post just to see what the next one is so to to make it only show an excerpt, we'll just uh, add a space here. And then up here, you see this insert read more tag. Hit that, hit update. And now when we go back to our feed, let's hit refresh. You can see it's cut off where we wanted it to. And then to read the rest of the post, we have to hit continue reading. And so when I hit continue reading, now here is the full post where I can read all the text. Some other important things to note here in the dashboard as you're editing your posts are up here, the screen options. And this just 
dictates what is shown in your editor. So sharing format categories tags featured image comments and we have categories tags sharing featured image comments so if we were to uncheck these let's just uncheck all of them real quick and now they don't show so this is just to kind of customize your editor and make it look however you want it to but this isn't affecting the actual post this is not going to be changed these this screen options is just affecting affecting your editor to have it how you want it. You can also do this distraction free writing. So click here and this makes things easy when you're writing a long post so you're not distracted. Unclick it and now it's back to normal. And then as far as uh, this goes you'll notice a visual and a text. The visual displays what you want it to look like. So when I put in a picture here this is how I want it to look like and I in the visual I kind of make it look how I want it to look like but for a website to be displayed someone has to write the code and that's the beauty of WordPress you put in a picture or put in your content make it look how you want to without writing code and then behind the scenes WordPress actually creates that code for you if we click in the text we can see the code that is generated so that's what this is what your content looks like with the correct uh, HTML so for instance this picture you know we just had to add it and there's this visual editor it's really easy to add content but behind the scenes what WordPress does then is turns this into actual code so that it can be read by a browser so if we go into editor this is the code for that image so that's the the beautiful thing about WordPress is you don't have to know how to code we can put in this picture this size center it and then WordPress does all the heavy lifting for us. So you don't have to know how to code and even if you do a lot of times it can be faster or easier to just use WordPress to add content or customize your website than to code it by hand.